I understand why people do this. I do, I do. If you mix vinegar with baking soda, it's not any different from just adding the same amount of table salt to some water and then using that to clean. And that's to say it doesn't actually do anything. When acetic acid reacts with sodium bicarbonate, the acetic acid loses one of its protons or a hydrogen cation, and that attaches to one of the three oxygens that are on sodium bicarbonate, specifically the one that has a negative charge. When this happens, you get what's called carbonic acid. When you make carbonic acid, it's really not stable at all. It just kind of falls apart immediately. You can see, if you look at it, it's like a carbon, there's two oxygens, that's carbon dioxide. So it just kind of turns into carbon dioxide, the gas. And that's what you see bubbling out of the liquid when you mix the two. And then that leftover proton, that leftover hydrogen just kind of attaches to the leftover oxygen and it's hydrogen and then you get water. When you add the vinegar to the baking soda directly in that way, you've removed their entire ability to clean anything. Like the vinegar as an acid neutralizes the sodium bicarbonate that's a base and you make water this sodium acetate salt that is not important and not useful, and carbon dioxide gas, which if you wanted more of that, you could have just breathed heavy on, you know, whatever you're cleaning before you started cleaning it. It's unfortunate that people make this mistake, but people have been making this mistake for a very long time. And the reason why people have been making this mistake for a very long time is because this does work with a different base, not sodium bicarbonate, but something you might have in your spice cabinet cream of tartar. So cream of tartar, its proper name or one of its more sciencey names is potassium bitartrate. And it's a carboxylic acid. It comes from making wine uh, and it just kind of falls out of the casks as the wine is being made. And a lot of effort has been put into figuring out how to like stop it from happening. Um, but it also happens to be really useful for a number of things, including cooking. When you take cream of tartar, and you mix that with vinegar or even lemon juice, you get what's called tartric acid. And that actually can be used to clean porcelain and aluminum and I think copper and brass as well. So if you've got little porcelain dolls, definitely go for that. You know, But if you're trying to clean something, just skip the vinegar, skip the baking soda, just use the dish soap. Or laundry detergent. Powdered laundry detergent also works really well to clean things. As an aside, baking powder is baking soda plus cream of tartar mixed together. So maybe people thought that, you know, if the one worked, they could use the other. But they were wrong!